now. This is a Harrison M300 lathe. We bought it for a particular job, which was doing some stonework, but it's not big enough really, and it's too good for the job. <clears throat> I'll show you the one we're going to use afterwards. Okay, so it's up for sale. We've only had it about, I don't know, four months. Uh, we thought we'll keep it and use it for other little engineering jobs, but <clears throat> we don't really need it, and it's taking space up, and we could do with the money back. So there we are. So it all seems to work. The chap we bought it off said everything worked. We don't really know what we're doing to be honest. We, we would have had to learn how to use it. Uh, but everything seems to work, so I'll just show you a few things we're doing. That's the fastest speed. You're brave man to use that one. I'll just slow it down a bit. There we have it at a much slower speed. Everything seems to work. The feeds work both ways, all right. Everything moves okay. It's a little bit stiffer as, it, as you're winding it when it gets to the top end of the bed, but not much. It's, uh, it seems fine. So, excuse me, what can we put the camera? Uh, uh. So it all works okay manually, as you'd expect. Uh, and there it is, a good straightforward lathe. So I'll just walk around it, Steve, and just show everybody the uh, the whole thing from different angles, please. Okay. There's the saddle, cross slide. Emergency stop. Just while you're there, I'll demonstrate the emergency stop. So sure, stop. If you could come back into me, Steve. Okay. You've got to have one of these really by and law. <coughs> Bang, stops dead. Okay, Steve, if you want to walk around it, just just uh, just show it, just go around it. Okay. Locking levers for the tail stop. So, it's got a pump, a such pump, uh, it's not connected up, we didn't plan on using it, so it's not been connected up. It's also got various bits with it. Four jaw chuck. Four jaw chuck. We bought this manual, it didn't come with it, we bought this separately. So it's a great manual, it's got all the, uh, all the details. And I'll show you the one finally that we did buy to use, and we are going to use this one if you follow me, Steve. Okay. And there it is. <coughs> a lot simpler, a lot bigger, and more suitable. Because what we do is these pieces of stone, Steve. Like that piece up there, the objective is to be able to skim the face and the edge of the stone. That's what we, uh, what we bought it for, and a uh, bit of a mistake, really. So it's there for somebody else to, um, to have fun with. And thanks for watching the video. There we are. Okay.